Recently, Ash and Connor had the privilege of visiting Michael and the team at Yellow Tools in Germany. Here are some of his takeaways from the trip. He shares some things that he's observed about an incredibly respectful culture and what he wants to do moving forward. These are just like honourable mentions, I say. Uh, nobody looked busy. Uh, everything was so efficient, one person can run an entire area, including, including multiple machines at once, and still have enough time to clean, uh, listen to the metal music that we have in the background. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was, it was kind of crazy. Like, you go into the printing room, and it was all run by uh, one lady. I we didn't get a name. Um, but yeah, it was like three Mamaki printers, and then there was um, a whole station in the middle for like guillotining and cutting them out and sorting them out. Um, and yeah, it was just all by one person. And it was the same in one of the CNC rooms. All one person. It was like two CNC machines, uh, a sanding station to like clean and prep things. All one person. So the process was that fluid that you didn't need multiple people working on it. Yes? Was there other people trained to do that area too? Or was it just one person for that area? Or could they all, if, if someone needed to go into their CNC machine like part, mm -hmm. is everybody trained to do that? Yeah, there was multiple people that trained on CNC machines. Uh, there was not just one CNC room that had a few CNC machines. There was <coughs> multiple, there was like another CNC machine that was in the outer building which was getting reorganised but Yes, the, the multiple people trained on stuff. Uh, and the, the other thing that I wanted to mention was respect. Uh, everything was tidy and clean. I think the 3S every morning, like the, it's, as soon as they get in the door, the 3S and they're cleaning the sort of things. Um, which is probably why everything is just immaculate. Um, and the morning meetings, everybody pays attention to whoever is speaking and no one talks over them. Uh, there was, there was no, like, there was a prototype piece that was being passed around, and everyone was, like, passing it to each other, but they weren't, like, talking about it, they didn't start off a conversation because of being distracted. Um, yeah, everyone was super respectful. Uh, even when, obviously, me and Ash were introducing ourselves, everyone was, again, super respectful. Um, they, because they understand that they are all there to learn, so that, again, it just goes to the, this meeting isn't just for me doing the meeting, it's, an opportunity for all of you to take something from it. So being respectful is super important. <laughs> all right, so what I want to do after my experience of going to Yellow Tools, so I want to be more proactive where I work. So I want to 3S more in the mornings or just whenever I can, uh, just because I've seen the effects of that. Um, fix what bugs me more instead of just going, uh, I, I can deal with that a bit, just no. Just stop and think for a second, how can I stop myself from doing this again? Um, re uh, record process videos, just because they are super helpful to me. Um, even if I just do them for myself, they could still be put up. Because um, I recorded one yesterday of Adam, yesterday, Friday, of uh, Adam fully fitting out a step, and he, I was asking him questions whilst he was doing it, he was explaining things, and I was, that's just because I knew that I was going to be around there and I might need a refresher. Um, so recording process videos is something that I'd like to do more of um, and uh, gain a deeper understanding of how everything works. I'm the kind of person which if I don't understand why it, like that's there, why this is the way it's done and it, it's just been like given to me and says okay use it this way, I'd be like okay but I won't remember. I, I, I have to understand things at a deeper level to, to actually make it click. Um, so yeah and the opportunity of being able to work in different areas has been really useful for me. Uh, hold others accountable. This is also, if other people can also hold me more accountable for things as well, because that would <coughs> help me grow. But the whole, like, I could go to a World Bay, and it's kind of in a bit of a mess, let's say. Um, just being, just telling the person before me that you said before me, hey, could you clean this up after yourself? Because I now have to clean it up. So it's just, just, yeah, holding others accountable. Just because it's not, I'm not doing, I wouldn't be doing it to annoy someone or like be, I don't know, trying to be bigger. It's just like helping other people grow is the main reason. And again, hold me accountable as well because <laughs> I need to grow. Uh, speak up more if I don't understand something. Uh, I am the absolute worst at just like going, yep, because my people person please are just like, yep, yep, that's cool, nice, yep, you understand, yep, I get it. And then about five minutes later I'm like, I don't think I fully understood that. <laughs> and then I'll be going back and asking them again. 
Um, so yeah, hopefully by taking on more responsibility, I can give myself more opportunities to grow and learn. And is there any other news or any questions? Um, yes. I just want to say, I think you did quite a good job with that because every time I wanted to make a comment or I will have a question on the pictures, you answered it instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's good to see that you've been and you've actually took something away from it and you want to actually improve yourself from it. Yeah. I think in the past we've had people that have gone and they come back and they just come and say, well, I saw this yard tools and this, it'd be nice to put this in here and that was it. You know, kind of thing. You, yeah. You've thought deeper on that one, I think. Um, I think the last time I went was probably three years ago, pre-COVID. Yeah. And I can't believe that much has changed from then to now. Mm. And become even better than it was even just from the few pictures that I've seen. So people would usually come back with all this information, loads of things that they want to change, that are big things. Nobody else has like, witnessed it or experienced what you've experienced. Yeah. And then it kind of gets everyone's backs up because they're like, well, I've got a clue what you're talking about and you're trying to change everything just because you've been somewhere. But I feel like you've come back and done it in a really respectful way in the little things that you can do personally and how you've influenced things. So I think that's been a really good job. Thank you.